But when I look at your social media and I look at what you do for your clients, I tell you all the time, you and Bradley should have a reality show because <laughs> everything is so beautiful. Everything is so perfect. It's literally a fairy tale the way that yeah. I get to look at you online. But I know, I've seen you. We've sat down and we've had lunch and talked about these massive pitches and proposals. I can't even say the name of the companies because obviously you're still working with them. But I'm talking about like, Fortune 10 household name, billion dollar companies that you've been putting together proposals for, throwing your whole heart into it. What do we not see about Amber Walker? What, what, what behind the scenes are we not seeing that goes into making your company and your team everything it is? So I think what is not seen, and it's hard for me to like articulate and to show the world, is how much work it has gone mm. into creating Amber Walker events. I started my business when I was 20 years old, just a, a wee baby. Three years ago. <laughs> Love you for that. <laughs> um, and, and at the time, at the hype of like social media, mm -hmm. It was all about faking it till you make it yep. and showing the best parts of your business and showing a very glamorized business. Mm -hmm. And so that is what I kind of put out to the world. But now in this age, I want people to see how hard it was. Yep. And that was like the like sleepless nights, the sacrifices that I made, the fact yep. that I had no money to start with. Like I literally, that, that's the truth. It was really challenging to start and and have that delusional belief yeah. because I had so many people tell me what are you doing mm -hmm. get a real job and that comes from friends family it's it was hard work and I can't even tell you how many times I cried myself and thinking did I make the wrong mistake I quit my nine to five job yep. um did I like should I stop what I'm doing and yep getting burnt out like burnout is a real thing when you're an entrepreneur and you're like trying to always reinvent something Absolutely. because like for example for the pandemic like you had to be able to pivot mm -hmm. in order for your business to survive and so that was like a real thing for me um and actually that's what led my business to expand to the u.s markets yep. uh because if i didn't do that simply we just wouldn't be where we are today. It just, it wouldn't exist. Like so many event planning companies simply just went out of business. Yes. So I think that that's what's not seen. And um, honestly, the hard work that, that I put into being, oh, is it me? Is it not No, me? no. Oh, um, it's probably a client. Just kidding. Oh my God. I'm just kidding. Um, anywho, so I think people don't see the sacrifices that, goes into starting a business. Mm -hmm. And I think that social media has made it so glamorous to start a business, but yes. what goes into it, can you actually do it? 